good morning friends today i am showing you the application of hackras for dam bridge modeling so for dam bridge modeling we require digital elevation model of the study area dam details and flood hydrograph of the dam so let us see how to do this whole exercise so first we have to open hackras here we will create one project so this is Create a project here. So I am giving you the name Breach. So this project has created. So then first go to option and see what are the units. So its units is metric system. So it's okay. Otherwise change to it. So this is the units. Now we go to RAS mapper. So RAS mapper is just like GIS platform for Hackras. Here. First, we will set the projection for the project. So, for this, we require that project file of projection file of uh, digital elevation model. So, you can see all these information related to that projection are here. And here, the units are in feet. So, please change it to the meters. Apply. Okay. Now, we will add digital elevation model to it. So here we will add DM. So I am here adding this DM here. So what this do? This RAS mapper will convert this digital elevation model into tin format. So close it. So now this DM is here. Here we can add any map layer. Here I am adding web imagery, RGIS world imagery I am adding. So you can see here. So now web imagery is here. We can change it that the display properties of web imagery. So both these digital elevation model and the that imagery are visible. So here we can see this is our study area. This is the dam. This is. This is this is dam. You can see here and this is downstream inundation area. So first, what we will do? We go to that geometries and we will create new geometry. We have to give one name for this. Give any name. Now, so all these options are now visible here so first we will create 2d flow area in 2d flow area we will go to that parameter right click it and that added geometry so now we can add this geometry This is the perimeter then you can create a stories also so this is stories
this has created now we will save that geometry and close it now we will open this geometric editor then open this geometry data which is already here we can get it this geometry is here now what we have to do we have to add now dam here so we will add this dam by this so this here so now this dam is added we will give this name dam so that the dam has joined this storage to that we flooded it here. Zoom out it. Here we will add boundary condition. So this is the this is boundary condition at the outlet we will add. It. This is actually the boundary condition. This this is outlet. So this outlet has been added. Now we go to that two D flow area where we have to generate two D mass. So here we have to give some interval. Here I am giving 50 by 50 meters. So then go to that flow mass recomputation. So you can see that that mass has been created. Now you know, we go to storage area where you can see that elevation capacity table has already been displayed here. If you want, you can give your own elevation capacity table of that dam. Here we will give some minimum elevation. So I am giving here 428 Okay. Then we will go to dam. So here we can see this is the cross section of the dam. So we will build a breach bear over here so here we will give a station so zero and the height is up to 465 or 463 462 okay then here we can see this length is 1224.05 so i will give 24.05 Then we have to give bear width here. So I am giving this 5 meter. Okay. So now you can see this is your bear. So this is bear. Now what we have to do? We have to give breach data. So here. So when you give breach data so you have to give first you have to click this because you have to breach this structure then you have to give this center station for that breach so this is the center station it is something like 420 so I am giving this 4 4 4 to 0 then final width it is 5 meter then elevation so this is our elevation it is something like 440 or something so 438 this is our so, and this is side slope so this is our breach 
then starting interval that water elevation I have to give so be 462 here. Click OK. So all these information related to this 2D mass and this has been given. Now we will give flat data. So we will close it. Then we go to this view or edit steady flow rate, unsteady flow data. So here we can see our outlet is visible. So first we give this normal depth for this. So here we can give some slope of that area. Then we will add storage area here. So now that storage area is now visible. So for this we will provide lateral inflow hydrograph. So here we can give the hydrograph of that area. So this is our hydrograph. This is and we can here start from some date. So I am giving and we can see the start up also. So these are the flood hydrograph. Here we can see it is starting from that first of the August and ending up to fifth of the August. So click and click OK information has been given then we have to give initial condition also so for 2d storage area we will give what may be the initial water level so i am giving here 462 again click it so all these informations till now we have given till now we have given all these information so we will go to run the so in that here we have to give all these information so first we check all this we have to give some sort id for that and we have to give a start date so our flood hydrograph is starting from 00, zero hours and it is i am giving so it was to that 5 september so i am giving up to 4 september and The computational interval are must be less. Hydrograph mapping output also less, so we get more detailed information. One minute, we are okay. Now I will compute. So, here one thing is missing we have not set the bleach formation time so close it we will go for this geometry and go to here in the team then bleach data we have not set this time so we will give 0.5 hours started it will take a lot of time because it has to be computed for whole the area and the time interval is less so now we can see that uh, all the computations are over and it has finished that complete process and took uh, near about 20 minutes for computing so we can close it from here here also this also now we will go to RAS mapper to see the results so here this is our
this is about study area this one and this depth here we can see how this jobs are you can see how that flood is propagated This is how we can do this flood modeling using HEPLAS.